Hi students, welcome back. Now let us see the TCP IP network architecture. So let us see what is this architecture. Suppose if you take this from, suppose this is a client side and here the server side or you can take one host and another host like that. So first the starting is the process. Suppose I'm the user, I'm the client, I just open a page in the system. So that is one web page I opened. So which is having some services. Okay, this is the web page. So I want to upload uh, my photos or I want to update my uh, record. Okay, as for that I open the page. So whenever I need to update my record, that request has to go to the server. Suppose I want to change the settings in my Gmail. So that settings has to reach the server. So how it is done? With the help of TCP IP. So first this is a process and next this process is going to the transport layer. So whatever the page I opened so that it goes to the transport layer. So the transport layer is nothing but the host of the system and next it reaches the cloud that is network. So so how it reaches? It reaches the network with the help of cable. So this is a physical cable. So we call it as a media. So fine. Here with the help of the media that is a link layer. So this is a physical medium independent so the servers the client side and the server side whatever the physical medium that we are using that may be independent to each other so here we use suppose some another cable and here we are using some wireless or whatever it may be the medium is different from uh, one system to the another system so it is independent this is a medium and here this is a network so a communication between these two networks is in you call it as internetwork this is an internetwork layer so the internetwork layer we use the uh, LAN or MAN or WAN so these three uh, networks are applicable So next it reaches the host. So this is a host. So a communication between the client and server hosts or you call it as a transport layer. This is a transport layer. So the transport layer is it may be a different OS will be there. So this system, the client system uses some uh, Windows operating system or the server system we use the Linux operating system. So the it is an OS independent and computer architecture independent also. Computer architecture independent. So whatever the systems you are using, those operating systems and the computer architectures are also independent. And finally, the updated page will be opened in the server side so this is a process from server side and this is a process from client side a communication between these uh, uh, two process you call it as an application layer so this is an application layer we call it as a client server model client server model so this is the tcp ip network architecture so totally four layers are present the process host network and the media and the server side also the process host network and the media so this is application transport internet network and the link layer thank you